So Rex Alexander with Arrow News Network over at the uh, EAA Museum on the Oshkosh campus of the airfield. Here today with me is uh, Wally Anderson talking about some new tools for safety in aviation. So Wally, what is AOA? Angle of attack or AOA is really all about how the wing works in relationship to the apparent wind. And years ago, it was discovered that it is the most accurate way to go ahead and control an aircraft. As the angle increases, the lift comes up, increases a little bit more on the drag, but it's a very simple way to go ahead and fly an aircraft. So in looking at this, this is a toolkit, not so much the hardware. This is actually designed to work with the hardware. Is that correct? That's correct. The big component that we're working here in this pilot proficiency center is the whole idea of training. And that's the component that's really been lacking because the legacy aircraft that almost all of us have flown when we began, they don't have angle of attack instruments. So even though this concept goes way back, even to the Wright brothers, from what we understand, had a, a piece of yarn that would show the angle of attack of their their flyer. We haven't had the technology, but now with EFA systems in the plane, we now have the availability to actually see angle of attack on these instruments quite easily. So in looking at moving this out, this is really one of the first major pushes that you're doing here at EAA, and you're bringing in CFIs for the training, and you're partnering with the FAA in what respect? It's a collaboration with a lot of different stakeholders. The simulators here are Redbird simulators. A year ago, we tried a just a simple indicator and let people experience and see how easy it was. Based upon that result and how positive it was, the people here at Community Aviation went ahead and came up with uh, these scenarios and uh, were training these people on it. So we go into a classroom, brief people on how angle of attack works, and then they'll come out here on the simulators and actually fly them. Where can people find information and how can they participate? The best place to go ahead is to the EAA website and search for Angle of Attack. You'll find multiple articles that have been written in Sport Aviation about it. One of the big steps that has happened through this is the owner of Redbird, Charlie Gregoire, has offered, now that we have these scenarios and the instrument already set up, This will become available to any Redbird owner at no additional cost, and these scenarios will be out there with training material. Well, it definitely sounds like a significant improvement in safety as a preventative measure, so I really uh, appreciate everything that you're doing and your team's doing. I look forward to seeing the statistics drop. Yeah, we all will. We all will. So uh, here at uh, EAA Museum and the new educational center with uh, my good friend Wally Anderson, make sure you come over here and check out the uh, simulators and uh, ask about this new training in AOA. So for Aero News Network at Oshkosh 2024, I'm Rex Alexander. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details.